there. Someone there. Help me. Ryan, Angelique, congratulations. I'd like to wish you both a long and happy life. Congratulations. Well done. Yay! That's enough. That's enough. I'd like to welcome you all back to the Queen Vic. Yay! Yes. As you know, as from today, it's under new management. Hey! <laughs> I'm so happy that you're happy to have me back here behind the bar, my name above the door, yeah. to serve you, my wonderful, wonderful, loyal customers. Hey, what's wrong? It's Archie, he's there, he's up there. What? I just heard him, Peggy. Peggy, please, please. He's dead. He's dead and buried. Brad, be your husband killed him. That's not true. Oh, look, you've got to do yourself a favour. You've got to stop moping around and move on. Bradley didn't do it. He didn't, Peggy. He's not a murderer. He'd never do anything to hurt anyone. Yeah, whatever you say. Please, Peggy, he didn't do it. What if he didn't do it? Who did then? Me. It was me. I killed him. I killed your husband. It had nothing to do with Bradley. I killed Archie. Oi, Peggy, come on, get back out of here. Yeah, yeah, in a minute. Now, you look me in the eye and you tell me that again. I killed him. Are you off your pills or drugs or, or is this some kind of sick joke? No. Bradley murdered Archie. No, he didn't. I'm telling you the truth, Peggy. It was me. He had his head smashed in, not yards from where we're standing. And you saying, you did that. You killed him. Sorry, I can't hear you. Yes. Well, why would you do that? Well, go on, I want to know. He raped me. I don't expect you to believe me, Peggy, but it's true. He hurt me, he hurt Bradley, and I didn't know what I was doing until it was done. I'm, I'm sorry, Peggy, I'm really sorry. Sorry? Since I come off my tablets, I haven't stopped thinking about it. That's not me. Peggy, I'd never want to hurt anyone, but I did, and I did a terrible thing, and Bradley took the blame. And you let him... You let him die? You let me and everyone else around here think it was him? Well, I don't believe you. I don't believe Archie raped you, because I know what you're like. You're over everyone. Any bloke that moves has got a pulse. You are disgusting. I was ill. And do you think I should feel sorry for you? A cold-blooded killer? You think I should forgive you and say, yeah, everything's going to be all right? No. Well, I'm not, because you're going to pay for this. And if you're not going to clear Bradley's name, well, I am. What are you going to do? And what do you think? Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a phone call to make. No, Peggy, please. Please, I'll go to prison, but... Lily needs me. Oh. She needs her mum. She hasn't got anybody else in the world. Really, really. Well, it's a shame she hasn't got her father to look after her. But then, of course, you're responsible for his death too, aren't you? Oh, oh, you disgust me. Get out. Get out of my sight because I can't bear to watch you. Go on, get out of my pal! <sighs> Come on, Darren, top me up then. <laughs> Thanks, man. Joe! Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>